What's happening guys? Papa Rossi with a very special PSA reveal today. I did a uh, dual service, so PSA, DNA, dual grade. So some of these cards are TTM, uh, cards I sent uh, through the mail. Some of them are um, ones that I bought raw off eBay, and I'll walk you through the order. Um, I think we got about 22 cards. I did the bulk service, which I think comes out to um, $23 per card. Um, some of these you may say, hey, why'd you grade the card and the auto? You should have just done the card or done the autograph. I don't care what you, <laughs> I don't care about your opinion on that. I'm gonna do these cards my way. These are mostly gonna be PC, some of which I'm gonna sell, but we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, first card, let me make an adjustment here. Sorry about that. Uh, Bob Lilly, this is his rookie card. He does have a 1962 Topps. Um, I think it's a 1962 Topps postcard. But this got a 1.5 for the card and a 10 for the auto. I don't do these kind of subs very often. Um, so kind of cool when I do. Uh, the back is fine. It's just this card's a little rough. Got a little crease down here. So that's a cool one. This was picked up off eBay. Um, I'm thinking in like the $50 range. Up next, um, I got Tony Oliva through the mail a few times before he got into the Hall of Fame. And so this is one that he just happened to customize to me. Um, <laughs> my first name is actually John, believe it or not. So <laughs> anyways, um, this got a four and a 10 for the auto, which is great. Um, that's one I'm gonna hold on to, obviously. Well, I guess there's a lot of Johns out there, so I, I guess I could sell that at some point, but yeah. Um, this is a cool one, Enos Slaughter, um, VG3 on the card, 10 on the auto, on his 52 Bowman. Um, one of the things I'll touch on in this order is, th these are some of the new holders that PSA has. Well, you can't see it on this one, sorry. But man, oh man, are these new inserts they have for the smaller cards disgusting. I don't know if it translates well over the camera, but these are ugly, ugly inserts that they are using. Not to mention, whatever they did with this insert caused the, caused the slab to warp. It's not flat, like you put it on a flat surface and it wobbles back and forth. And listen to this. It's got all this creaking and bending and it's just, it's so sloppy. Um, PSA said that they're gonna fix these new holders um, because they're just garbage. I'll show you uh, some examples of that. Um, I forgot to display it here, but uh, everyone's talking about these little flow lines in the, you see that? There's these little micro cracks in almost all of these new slabs. And you could tell if you have a new slab in your hand by the weight of it, and it says 1LR plus. So these plus slabs are the ones that are crap. And uh, you know, they said they did years of they said they did years of R&D, research and development. Yeah, sure they did. They did not. Um, here's another one with the same flow line. I mean, it doesn't bother me. They said they're gonna reholder these for free. Um, so I don't even know if I if, if I want them to reholder them. They're just, you know, just, yeah, I don't know. They've damaged so many of my cards over the years. Uh, this is a TTM, Jake Gibbs, four and a 10. Pretty cool, fun story about this one. I sent it to Mr. Gibbs and uh, he returned it to me blank. And I was like, oh man, or unsigned, I should say. I sent it back, got it the second time. The other thing that's astounding about this order, this, as I said, PSA DNA, 22 cards, not a single rejection. This is the first time I've had done a vintage order and got not a single rejection in years. Um, unless you count higher service levels. I should say bulk orders. Um, good two, auto 10. Um, this is Tommy John. He's uh, likely a future Hall of Famer at some point. His autograph, um, it's, it's gotten extremely shaky in recent years. This is an older autograph. And this is on his, his first solo card. His 64 tops is his rookie. He shares that with someone else. Um, anyways, he shares that. This is, an, this is a fun one. I picked this up off of uh, uh, George from Diamond Yard. And so if you, I hope you guys will follow his channel, great channel. Jack Tatum, the assassin, 
um, Jack Tatum. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Jack Tatum. And uh, anyways, thanks, George. Six on the card, eight on the auto. Um, Jack Tatum passed away too soon. So anyways, uh, this card, uh, Malter, rookie, I sent him in the mail. This one got authentic. Um, so it wasn't rejected. It just got authentic. And I think it's because of minimum size. You see all this, you see all this gap top to bottom. So I think it's minimum size could be trimmed. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't, I don't know if they call it authentic altered if it were trimmed, but anyways, got a 10 on the auto. I felt that was a bit generous. There's some smearing down here in his auto. So a 10, 10 on the auto feels a little sloppy. A lot of people tell me that PSA is really tight on the auto 10s, but there are some some autos, in my opinion, that are not 10s. Anyways, you tell me what you think about that. Um, this is a this is a funny funny one. Tony Dorsett, he's been a great TTM guy for a long time. Um, I, I heard some things about him getting cards returned, uh, unsigned recently, or folks you know going after it. But anyways, I love his signature. He's been good to me over the years. Um, this card has a funny history. I attempted to submit this to PSA unsigned and it was rejected as minimum size requirement. <laughs> oh, PSA. I know you're laughing with me. Just so sloppy. Minimum size one day, VGEX four the next day. Um, autograph 10. Tony Dorsett, uh, Hall of Famer. This is his rookie. Just awesome. Um, as you could tell here, I mean, there's barely any border on that side, and maybe it's a little small. But anyways, PSA inconsistent. They are uh, consistently inconsistent. Um, another really cool TTM. I got I got K line here right before he passed away. Great guy, great TTM signer. Um, very sad that we've lost him. Anyways, VG three auto ten. Um, yeah, perfectly placed auto. Just awesome. I got this back, jeez, just before he passed away. I don't know. It was a while back, several years now, but anyways. Dorset, second year. This uh, card got a near mint seven, and it's a nice card. This auto also got a 10. So yeah, just, I love his auto. And yeah, like I said, he's been good to me. I can't remember what he used to charge back in the day. Most of these TTMs are a few years old. Um, here's another guy that's going to be a Hall of Famer eventually. Um, this is the only one where I was surprised that the auto did as poorly as it did. It got an auto grade of seven. And yes, it's it's bleeding. The auto is bleeding, but it's, I don't know. It got a seven. So you tell me. It, it's like he was using a pen that was too fine or something like that. And it bled into the card. Anyways, seven, seven. That's still pretty cool by me. Like I said, another guy that'll get into the hall, Dick Allen. That's not, not the last we'll see of him. Um, this is a really fun one, 1970 Tops, Gil Sayers EX5 on the card, 10 on the auto. This was an eBay pickup for, I believe, $33 raw. So they are out there, um, legitimate autograph cards. They are out there. Anyways, awesome. Awesome card. This is my first Gale Sayers autographed card. Um, Ken McBride, his 1961 star rookie. I think he has a 1960 tops, so I think. Um, anyway, he's got a six on the card, 10 on the auto, um, which is awesome. Ballpoint 10. Let's see. Um, there was something going on with this card. I remember from a long time ago. This card's this corner in this area is all kind of like mucked up. I don't know. It looks like it has marks and indents in it, but anyways, PSA did not care. Six on the six on the card, ten on the auto, and it's just fun because it you know uh, this made it back to me in a plain white envelope. You know, it went to him in a plain white envelope, and it made it back to me in a plain white envelope, and it still got a six. So kind of fun to imagine the journey that these cards go on sometimes. Seventy four tops. Petey, uh, Charlie Hustle gets an EX5, auto 10. I did send this to him at a sign, off for a signing. So this was done uh, professionally. Can't remember who I used, um, what service I used to get it signed. But anyways, I think it was like 30 bucks uh, for, for each flat. Anyways, 
Nice. Nice return there. That'll probably be another one to hold on to. Uh, here's another Dick Allen on his 69 tops. This auto gets an eight. Um, you can see there's, you know, the streaking in this very, uh, you know, he has a lot of pen movement and speed in that first, uh, I'm assuming that's an R or a D? I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'd have to think about that a little bit. Uh, yeah, so another guy going to get into the hall eventually. Moving on, uh, Juan Marichal, uh, another great TTM guy. Six on the card, 10 on the auto. Nice strong auto there. This is recent, so it, it is a little shaky, but the color is bold and strong. Um, Vern Law, TTM legend. You know, he gives these incredible inscriptions at no extra charge, and I've sent him a ton of his stuff over the years. Gets a four for his 56 tops, 10 for the auto. Just awesome. Very cool. Um, another guy that I got TTM, uh, Paul Hornung. I got him right before he passed away as well. He was signing through this, um, I think it was a sports card shop that was down the street from where he lived or something to that effect. I might be off on that, but six on the card, eight on the auto. Um, I think it was 10 bucks or 20 bucks through the mail. Kind of ran out of space for his auto over here, so it's all jammed up against this side. But anyways, very clean card, this 1960 Tops. Unscratched or unrubbed on the back. Love that. So these TTM cards have a lot. <laughs> they mean a lot to me. Uh, Carl Erskine, another legend. Um, TTM legend, that is. VGEX4. And an auto 10 on his uh, 1952 tops. And what a beautiful auto it is. Thank you, Mr. Erskine. Okay, another one on his 65 tops here. Another one that looks really good. Gets a 6 and a 10. Wow, yeah. Um, again, these are cards that made it through the USPS mail system in plain white envelopes. So just awesome to see these cards come back and uh, still grade well. I got two more here. This, they're both Raiders. Um, sorry about this. Let me get this close so you guys could see up here. Um, pour one on the card. Auto gets a 10. Fred Blitnikoff, this guy was great. I mean, you know, he would smoke cigarettes on the sideline and then still, still burn people um <laughs> burn people on the field like this guy's awesome if you could see some some of his plays from back in the day anyways i'm a raiders guy so this is his 65 tops rookie the auto gets an eight i picked this up in this nice silver here and uh anyways i thought it, the auto might have been a little stronger than a eight maybe a nine but there's some streaking here at the end anyways um raiders legend oh yeah that's a cool one <laughs> that's a really cool one uh Jim Otto, okay, so Otto signed through the mail. Um, he may still sign through the mail. I sent him this card in pretty good shape. EX5 on the card, nine on the auto, double zero. Uh, another Hall of Famer, another Raider. So I, uh, I, I get a kick out of the 65 top set. Anyways, um, this was a, a really fun return. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I don't do these too often because I wait till I have enough to do a bulk sub on them. So anyways, really hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, Paparazzi, talking ball cards. Have a good one.